शुक्ला ब्रह्म विचार सार परमाद्याम जगद्व्यानी वीणा पुस्तकधारिणी अभयदाम जाड्यांधकारापहा हस्ते स्फाटिकलिका विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदेता परमेशरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा न्वा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुण्याम कौम्यहम पाणिनीय प्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी सो एज वी सो येस्टडे वी डू दी फर्स्ट टू दीज मंगलाचरण द फर्स्ट वन इज अ प्रार्थना टू सरस्वती एंड दिस इज अ मंगलाचरण बाय श्री वरदाचार्य हु इज दी ग्रंथकार और लघुकार दी लास्ट दिस वन दिस लास्ट प्रेयर वी डू एट दी एंड ऑफ दी पाठ विच इज फ्रॉम नंदिका केशोर सो दैट ग्रंथ वेर यू सी दी स्टोरी ऑफ हाउ पाणिनी महर्षि रिसीव दी महेश्वर सूत्रास We saw Maheshwar Sutra yesterday. It is a e un real rik a o a i auch haya varak land nyamangananam jabain ghada dash jabagada dash khapa chata ta chata tau kapai shasasar and hal. Hal means consonant, and this hal is only to extend this hal in a sutra. There is a technical reason. So hal is this entire range of consonants. So hal is a consonant. while ach from this akara to this chakara here this ach is a is a set of vowels so ach means vowel swara and uh, hal means consonant these are the 14 maheshwara sutras the last letter here this last letter in each and every sutra is an if letter if letter as an indicatory or a packaging letter which is not the content of the Uh, which is not the letter introduced by the sutra but these are for the purpose of introducing the letters and although the letters are known they are reorganized and what are they for maheshwarani sutrani anadi sanyarthani they are there to make the anadi sanyas and as one sanya in is another un is another uh, then till hal all these uh, till al al is also sanya al means all letters ach means only vowels and hal means the only consonants while al is equal to ach plus hal that is al the entire range of letters so al is a letter any letter swara or vyanjana whether a vowel or a consonant while ach is a vowel and hal is a consonant so that that is what we saw the, there are there are uh, so so there are uh, 14 sutras so i had a pop up um, some thing uh, some some pop up by free conference call okay so the last letter is an is an it letter last consonant and thereby you have in 14 sutras you have 14 it letters so 14 sutras have 14 it letters which are the last which is the last consonant and other than that we also saw this this akara in lan lan madhye to it sanyaka at other places the akara which is there from so from hakara onwards this hal in hal in all the sutras starting from this haya varat the akara is for uchcharana for pronunciation otherwise you cannot pronounce a consonant directly you need a vowel and here the vowel is used akara uh, after the consonant for pronunciation except in lan where it is not only for pronunciation but also an it letter by becoming anunasika so land madhye to it sanyaka and there is a reason we saw to make uh, another pratyahara pratyahara is a, like a short form like ach there is a pratyahara r and r will mean refa and lakara so that is what we saw yesterday maheshwara sutras now let's start with the uh, lagu sutras the first prakaran or the section is sanya prakaran so therefore atha sanya prakaranam now thereafter so thereafter after getting the maheshwara sutras from the damru of shiva basically from shiva maheshwarat agatani maheshwarani sutrani those sutras which have come from maheshwara those are maheshwara sutras and after getting those what did panini maharshi do he created this 
uh, Ashtadhyayi. And on that Ashtadhyayi, the reordered Siddhanta Komudi exists on which a subset of 1200 Sutras is this Lagu Siddhanta Komudi, which starts with Sanya Prakarana. First, you have to understand the names. We have to uh, see what are the names given in the um, Sutra. So, what are the names given? So, one section, initial section, is a Sanya Prakarana in Lagu Siddhanta Komudi, which introduces names, Sanya, for a good set of things and then there may be more names which may be there elsewhere but this is a good uh, good set of names sanya prakaran so first sutra so here we'll see numbers this this first number is the lagu siddhanta kaudi kara's number this uh, lagu order so halantyam is the first sutra so one means this is the first sutra of lagu but 1.3.3 here you will see three numbers this means first adhyaya in ashtadhyayi so this is a the sutra number in the Mula Ashtadhyayi, which is 133 here. And 133 is what? First Pada, first Pada, first chapter out of 8. And then third Pada, third Pada is third, uh, so first Adhyaya, first Adhyaya, third Pada, and third quarter basically. So there are four quarters in each Adhyaya, in each chapter. And then third Sutra, so this is a Sutra number. This number will always be uh, between 1 and 4. This number will always be uh, between 1 and 8. But this number can be anything based on the number of sutras which differ across padas and across chapters. So if you have a sutra pata, you can have a look that 133 is halantyam. Oh, oh, I forgot to open the sutra pata. So, uh, okay, let me try to open the sutra pata. So the, uh, I'll just share the screen. Uh, so can you see the Ashtadhyay now? One three. Yeah. So on your screen now you see the Ashtadhyayi. So it says one three three. So first sutra for Lagukara is what? Lagukara's first sutra is Halantyam. So that's Halantyam. And the sutra is listed in Ashtadhyayi in the Ashtadhyayi order. What is that's called as Sanya Prakaram. So this is the Prathamadhyayasya Tritiya Padaha. Third Pada, third quarter of the first chapter is Sanya Prakaram. Starts with Sanya Prakaram. The, entirely it is, the entire thing is not Sanya Prakaram. But, uh, it starts with Sanya Prakaram. And here you see the third Sutra is Halantyam. 133. Now you go back to Laghu and see Halantyam. What do we understand out of Halantyam? So Hal is... One one. One one is Prathama Vibhakti. Uh, Prathama Ekvachana. Prathama Ekvachana is Hal. So this Hal is Prathama Ekvachana and Antyam. So Hal is like Marutvat. It is like Marut Shabda. If you, uh, it is good to learn Marut Shabda by rote, you will get a lot of uh, uh, Halanta Shabdas in Lagu, in uh, sutras, basically in Ashtadhyayi. So, Hal, Hal is like Marut, Marut, Marutau, Marutaha, Marutam, Marutau, Marutaha. That way, this Hal will decline. Hal, Halau, Halaha. Uh, Halam, Halau, Halaha. So, Hal is Prathama Vibhakti Ekvachanam. And Antyam. Antyam is Tadhita, Ante Bhavam, Antyam. That which, there, that which is there at the end. Ante, at the end, Bhavam, exists. 
remains at the end is antyam that is the sadhita vritti and this is also what antyam antyam is also one 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 means prathama vibhakti ekavachana whenever in the sutra you see two padas or uh, more than one pada in same case and prathama vibhakti and uh, number can be anything that is in samana adhikarani and samana adhikarani that so there is a name sanya and there is a sanyi sanya asya asti it is here what is the uh, uh, sanya so that is seen in the vritti here you see upadeshe antyam hal it syat upadeshe antyam hal it syat uh, is my voice clear or are you losing me there is some feedback that uh, my voice is not clear so uh, upadeshe antyam hal it syat this this sentence here upadeshe antyam halit syat is what upadeshe antyam this antyam this pada and hal hal from the sutra it syat so here you do pada cheda you get hal it syat how did this it come from what is this it syat i understand you have to add some word ekatinga vakyam there is Uh, one thing and the pada needed to make a vakya so this sutra hal antyam is explained by the by lagukara as hal this antyam hal itsyat antyam hal this, the ending the that which is present in the end that consonant kahal is a consonant hal itsyat why it where did he get this it from so for this you have to go to the ashtadhyay order to see where did this it come from and if you look at astadhyayi you see sanya prakaranam here this halantyam sutra gets it gets the other words from the earlier sutra the earlier sutra has upadeshe where did this upadeshe come from in this vritti upadeshe antyam hal itsyat so antyam and hal are from the sutra the sutra halantyam but upadeshe and it are from the earlier sutra you see upadeshe ach anunasik it upadeshe janunasik it upadeshe janunasik it has this pada upadesh she and this is actually ach ach becomes jakara when followed by a vowel so you see ach ach means a vowel vowel which is anunasik anunasik so you saw lan madhye tu it sanya ka why it sanya ka it is the sanya name given to this vowel which is in the sutra lan in that sutra this akara is it sanyaka has a name it why because it is anunasika so this this sutra defines as to the anunasika vowel becomes it wherever it is in in the upadesha what is upadesha so we'll see in the vritti upadesha upadesha is whatever adyo charanam whatever has been uttered by the teachers of the sampradaya who are uh, basically pandini maharshi and then the uh, pandini katyayani and Kachena and uh, uh, Mahabashyakara Patanjali. These are considered to be the Munitraya. So by Munitraya, whatever is created, uh, there is one view that all that in that that is called as Upadesha. And in their works, if there is an Anunasika vowel, that will get an It Sanya. Then further, you see this Upadeshe and It, which are the words of this Sutra one three two Upadeshe and It. This Upadeshe here, the first word. and the it upadesha in saptami vibhakti and it in prathama vibhakti this both of these words go till sutra 8 so take go till 8 sutra so this entire set from 132 to 138 here this entire set will have what it will have upadesha and it as anuvrutti anuvrutti means it this will this will continue these there is a need and it
बिकॉज एंड नंबर ऑफ दी immediate earlier sutra it can come from uh, a few sutras earlier so you see for the eighth sutra for the oh my voice is not clear is it okay let me dial in as well okay i'll try to dial in as well so that uh, my voice is clear at least I have dialed in. Let me. Okay. Uh, do you hear my voice clearly now? Okay. So. Uh, i'll continue with the voice call so here you see upadeshe upadeshe and it have anuvrutti further so it has uh, anuvrutti further in the sutras all sutras till the 8th sutra so from 132 to 138 you have the upadeshe and it in the same vibhakti and number uh, in, in in this set yeah i'll just close the window some more. work has started Yeah, this is the issue of doing a class uh, in Mumbai, and at uh, these hours, the surrounding is quite noisy. Okay, so upadeshe uh, anunasika ach that upadeshe anunasika ach it sanyakam bhavati. It this is the sutra vritti for the uh, sutra one three two, and the upadeshe and it go further to halantyam. and therefore lagukara makes the vritti as upadeshe antyam hal antyam hal being the part of the sutra itself upadeshe as anuvritti from the earlier sutra it as anuvritti from the earlier sutra and syat is added as dhatu for ekatinga vakyam to say that that would be would be it it letter so it is the sanya and what is the sanyi antyam hal antyam hal uh, is the sanyi sanyi sanyasya asti iti sanyi so the named hal antyam hal is named and what is the name given it it is the name given to the ending hal ending consonant in what in an upadesha in any upadesha any upadesha the ending consonant is an it letter indicatory or a packaging letter further lagukara says upadesha आद्य उच्चारण वॉट इज उपदेश उपदेश इज आद्य उच्चारण उच्चारण वॉट एवर इज अटर्ड अटर्ड बिकॉज इट इज अ कर्ण संप्रदाय इट कम्स फ्रॉम द टीचर टू दी स्टूडेंट बाय इट इज बाय शब्द इट इज हर्ड वे फॉर आद्य उच्चारण वॉट इज अटर्ड बाय दी टीचर हु इज पाणिनी और दी मुनित्रय what is uttered and that became this grantha as ashtadhyayi ityadi so maheshwara sutra is also uttered through a dambru it has come and then panini marshi himself taught those maheshwara sutras therefore they are also part of the upadesha upadesha and you will see in the uh, in the gita press book 
what is this uh, adya uchcharanam there it says that uh, look up so dhatu sutra gana unadi vakya lingaanu shasanam vakya aur vachya both part of vedas may be there dhatus dhatu patha dhatu patha is upadesha so in dhatu patha if you see uh, an ending consonant that will be it letter and by the earlier sutra also the vowel which is anunasika anunasika vowel anywhere in the dhatu patha need not be in the end it is anywhere that also becomes it letter so uh, that is the uh, uh, the the anunasika ach vowel is an it letter and the antya hal the last hal uh, last consonant is an it letter where all in dhatu patha in sutra patha in gana patha in unadi patha in vakya in vakya is in, in, there is some vachya or vakya that is made by uh, the munitraya linganushasanam linganushasanam which teaches the gender agama agama is a is mitravat it is it is something which is ordained and it comes and sits along with the uh, to whichever entity it is ordered uh, ordained for that is called as a stani we'll see all this further but agama then pratya pratya is a suffix which is added pratya adesha adesha is that which is ordained in an adesha also you do this some something is given as a vidhi in veda we take everything as a vidhi in uh, these these are like vedas all this is uh, it is called as amnaya this is amnaya because it is like vedas in fact uh, by listening to the sutras panini sutras one gets punya and it is open to all there is no restriction like for vedas veda mantras there is a restriction as to who can listen to this mantras and uh, uh, who should chant these mantras but with uh, respect to these sutras there is no such restriction therefore all chaturvarnas have adhikara in listening to these sutras and chanting these and these sutras themselves give punya so therefore this adesha is that which is ordained in the sutras or any of these dhatu sutra gana unadi vakya linga anushasana agama pratyan adesha within them upadeshaha prakirtita they are called as upadeshaha prakirtita they are called as upadesha at teachings in this teachings of munitraya whatever is the anunasika ach or vowel that is it it sanyakah bhavati further hal antyam hal in this sutra the first lagu sutra says what hal antyam hal antyam is what hal antyam it upadeshe hal antyam it is the through anuvrutti this is the basic vrutti and then lagukara says antyam he reorders it for anvaya he says upadeshe antyam hal it syat it would be it what is upadesha adyo charanam and that we saw what is this so many things dhatu gana ityadi all these are called as upadeshas sutreshu adrishtam padam sutrantarad anuvartaniyam sarvatra sarvatra everywhere what should you do everywhere in, in interpretation of each and every sutra what should be done sutreshu in those sutras whichever you are interpreting in those adrishtam padam adrishtam padam adrishtam is actually what adrishtam is not seen but uh, earlier when it was created that time it was not written it was a karana sampradaya and shabda is heard so adrushtam is not cognized not cognized it is not literally does not it literally it means seen so adrushtam is not seen but padas are never seen padas are shabdas they are heard they are never seen so by adrushtam we should say ashrutam adrushtam is ashrutam unheard in sutras when they are chanted halantyam so in halantyam what is the adrishtam padam here upadesha is adrishta it was there in the earlier sutra it was chanted upadeshe janunasika it so upadeshe is heard in the earlier sutras it is heard in the earlier sutras but in this halantyam this sutra it is adrishtam so sutreshu in sutreshu in this sutra sutre let's say halantyam sutre in this sutra halantyam adrushtam padam adrushtam is ashrutam ashrutam padam and here we say two two padas pade upadeshe and it these two words which are unheard adrushtam unheard ashrutam anucharitam why they are unheard because they are not pronounced by the maharshi in this sutra so anucharitam those which are not uttered 
दे शुड बी ब्रॉड अनुवर्तनीयम दे शुड बी ब्रॉड दे शुड बी ब्रॉट इन टू द सूत्र फ्रॉम वेयर शुड यू ब्रिंग इट सूत्रांतरा सूत्रांतर इज अ इज अ समास इट इज अ मयूर व्यवसकादी समास मयूर व्यवसका एंड अन्य सूत्र अन्य अन्य सूत्र अन्य सूत्र इज सूत्रांतर अनदर सूत्र इट कैन बी द इमीडिएटली प्रिसीडिंग और इट मे हैव गॉन फ्यू सूत्र बैक एंड इन रेयर केसेस इट मे बी कमिंग इन द नेक्स्ट सूत्र देर फोर एनी अदर सूत्र विच हैज इज इज द प्रॉक्सिमिटी विच एवर वर्ड इज नीडेड फॉर टू मेक द अंडरस्टैंडिंग कंप्लीट इन दैट सूत्र इट शुड बी ब्रॉट फ्रॉम अनदर सूत्र सो सूत्र सूत्रांतरा अदृष्टम पदम अनुवर्तनीय सर्वत्र एवरीवेर इट इज द सेम रूल एंड दिस इज ट्रू विथ ऑल सूत्र वेदर इट इज ब्रह्म सूत्र और योग सूत्र और व्याकरण सूत्र एवरीवेर द सेम रूल अप्लाइज इट इज देर इज नो there is no repetition in the sutra repetition is considered as a flaw because sutra has to be short therefore whatever is needed can be brought from other sutras and in in the sampradaya it is kantastha so just one thinks about how to make the vritti one gets it from the earlier sutra so this is the first sutra halantyam in lagu which is really in the its uh, sanya prakarana it is the second sutra if you look at in ashtadhyayi it is actually the second sutra in the it it sanya prakarana first sutra is upadeshya janunasika it second is halantyam third is na vibhaktau tusmaha fourth is adir nitudavah shak pratyasya chutu lashakvatadhite these are the sutras which are the it sanya so from 3 132 to 138 are the it sanyas it sanyas given the sutras which deal with the it sanya we'll see these others when we get there we saw the first two because uh, i wanted this uh, the vritti to be complete therefore halantyam gets the anuvrtya of upadesha and it what happens to this when you get this why do you get this it we'll see the next immediate next sutra is tasya lopaha in ashtadhyayi tasya itah this whatever is it so here you will get what upadeshe janunasika it then upadeshe halantyam it upadeshe uh, halant uh, na vibhaktau tusmaha so halantyam also goes till four you see four so how will this sutra read fourth sutra upadeshe because till eight you get upadeshe and it so upadeshe halantyam na vibhaktau tusmaha it so vibhaktau vibhaktau tusmaha na it उपदेशे हलंत्यम न इत वेर इन विभक्ति इन विभक्ति एंड विच टू टू स एंड मा सो विल सी वॉट दिस टू स मा मीन वेन वी रीच दिस सूत्र बट वॉट इज सेंग दिस तुस्मा हा तुस्मा हा इज प्लूरल टू सकारा एंड मकारा दिस तुस्मा हा दीज आर नॉट इथ ऑल दो दे आर अंत्यम हल ऑल दो दे आर अंत्यम हल वेर इन एन उपदेशा बट इन विभक्ति vibhakta in vibhaktu in vibhakti so those who have studied vibhakti uh, su au jas am au chas so on or tiptas ji in tinganta pratyas these vibhakti is there this sakara let's take this example of sakara sakara which is the ending letter of the uh, ending consonant of the in the upadesha in a vibhak vibhakti it is not an it it is not an it letter at all so it is not an it 134 uh, uh, yes it is an exception so uh, there are sutras i'll mention that also uh, yes venkatesh ji has a question uh, so in 134 is 134 an exception to 133 yes it is an exception it is an exception so generally the uh, sutra patha will go in uh, as utsarga and apavada there are utsargas which is a general rule and there is an apavada apavada is a restriction or a uh, it will it is a is an exception so you see in your laghu again there is a uh, there what kind of sutras are there i'll just mention these what kind of sutras are there sanya cha paribhasha cha vidir niyam eva cha atideshu adhikarascha shadvidam sutra lakshanam what kind of sutras are what sutras are sanya sutras which is what we are seeing right now halantyam is a sanya sutra in the sanya prakarana you have upadeshe janunasika it is a sanya sutra halantyam sanya sutra why what is the sanya it is the sanya all the 
the all that precedes it like this upadeshe anunasika ach anunasika ich ach is a sanyi which has a sanya it in it is a sanya anunasika ach is a sanyi in this in this second sutra halantyam which is actually third sutra here in that halantyam is what antyam hal antyam hal is the named sanyi and it is the sanya name so sanya sutra is one type of sutra paribhasha sutra paribhasha is a technical sutra which helps and by itself it does not do anything it tells you does not do anything as in it does not have a direct application it is used as a guideline to interpret other sutra it is like a meta, meta sutra the sutra which helps you understand how to interpret other sutra is a paribhasha paribhasha sutra then vidhi vidhi is a is a is an injunction is an ordain ordainment so adesha niyam something will be given and so vidhi you do this to get a particular pada uh, particular pada to land on a particular pada a particular step has to be um, has to be undergone so that step has to be applied that rule which is applied that vidhi is a rule a rule vidhi which ordains something so that kind of a sutra will be called as a vidhi sutra then there is a niyama sutra so niyama sutra or niyamaka sutra this is what uh, venkatesh ji asked this so is 134 an exception so this is a niyam it it restricts the application of the so it is an apavada or a niyamaka sutra which says all halantyam all antya hal are not it in vibhakti this two two is actually ta varga ta varga letters two uh, so any of this ta dha dha na is a ta varga letter so two will is a short form for ta varga we'll see how we get two i don't want to jump the gun but uh, as a, uh, since we have uh, in the context i am mentioning it and sakara makara this to smaha in plural so this sakara so as a sakara as an example the antya sakara although it is a khal is a consonant still it will not be it in an upadesha if it is a vibhakti in a vibhakti it will not be it otherwise sakara lopa will happen uh, because tasya lopa lopa means elision it will go away and then you will not get ramah the supratya will actually sa supratya it is supratya the prathama vibhakti ek vachana pratyaya is what supratya so rama shabda if you add rama rama plus su su ukara is anunasika ach by this sutra it will become it and it will undergo lopa tasya lopa now in uh, actually su Uh, here it will not applying so but i'll just say it is antya sakara now it is not actually antya sakara there antya actually su au jas in jas the sakara will be antya sakara in su ukara is it because it is anunasika now similarly su au jas these are the first prathama vibhakti pratyas uh, su is the prathama ek vachana au is the uh, prathama dvi vachana and jas jas is the Uh, prathama bahuvachana so just there so actually that is shakara just so just similarly these if you um, which sutra let's say tiktas ji tiktas th vip mas mas so let's say vip mas mas so uh, those sutra was so in tinganta you see in tinganta there are pratyas tiktas ji tiktas th vip was mas so vip was and mas there was and mas sakara is ending sakara antyam hal so this by the sutra halantyam that vibhakti should uh, uh, should also undergo uh, the sanya it and thereby lopa undergo elision by becoming it but it does not become it because it is a vibhakti and this sakara in vas vasma so bhavami bha, that bhavami bhava vah why do you get vah vah is vas pratyaya why should you get vas and not bhava va so bhava va the sakara becomes visarga later but if sakara undergoes lopa then you will not get bhava va bhava ma bhavami bhava va bhava ma that was sakara has to remain and uh, uh, sakara to remain the, it will not undergo lopa by this sutra na vibhakto tusmah so we are jumping the gun but then since there was a question yes it is an apavada so exception that is another kind of sutra uh, so sanya cha paribhasha cha vidhi niyama eva cha so niyama is restriction uh, ati desha after restricting also there is some extension done so you restrict first round you generalize it so an utsarga then 
if it is applied uh, if, if the uh, scope becomes wide and you don't want it there then panini maharshi would restrict the scope by using a niyama sutra even after the niyama sutra he wants to give exceptions within and open it up further then there is atidesha you extend it there is extension so something which is said but it does not apply elsewhere or it is restricted and therefore does not apply but uh, some channels are opened up for in some scenarios there that is called as atidesha sutra there is an atidesha atikramana of the desha you uh, whichever desha it applies to whichever uh, set of sutras space it applies to that space uh, is transcended by uh, by the atidesha sutra then adhikarasya adhikara adhikarasya is a adhikara is a topic it's a topic so here you see this uh, sanya prakaran sanya prakaran is a topic here and uh, further there are pratyaha pratyaha so all sets of pratyahas are talked about in the second chapter third chapter fourth chapter so in the first sutra in the second chapter say let's say here in the second chapter so second chapter starts with uh, not second chapter let's say third fourth fifth so second chapter is samasa we'll say samasa so look at the second chapter here in second chapter you see this samasaha samasaha goes from 213 this samasa prakadara samasa samasa is a word here and this word goes till 2238 so from 213 second uh, first pada of the second chapter it goes till 38 sutra of the second pada of the second chapter quite a wide scope there so it goes across padas also and that this samasa is an adhikara it is it becomes a broad topic so all sutras from 213 to 2238 are dealing with samasa the topic is what samasa is the topic therefore samasa is an adhikara it's an adhikara sutra this prak kadarat samasa by itself is not doing anything it is saying prak kadarat kadarat there is a word kadara so kadarat prak before prak is before before kadara you have samasa and if you see 2 to 38 around that you will find uh, 2 to 39 you will find kadara so you see uh, here in 2 to 39 the sutra 39 so here you see 2 uh, to so 2 to 39 so here see uh, 38 itself see kadara ha karmadhare so kadara is what this is a, this is a word so prak kadara is before kadara before kadara all top all sutras are in the topic samasaha so samasa is an adhikara and you see kadaraha kadara this before this uh, and this is how uh, the modern books are uh, this book also even this book of uh, meda ji this book also marks this anuruttis based on these sutras we tell you prak kadara or based on swara so it is learnt in the sampradaya as to uh, what is an adhikara what is a Uh, where is the anuvrutti till of which word so these are all learnt in sampradaya now because swara is lost otherwise there was swara in this sutra also by swara one could indicate as to where is the adhikara changing etc so adhikara sutra is another kind of sutra what else do we have uh, sanya cha pare vidhir niyama yocha ati desha adhikara shad vidham sutra lakshanam so, so these are the lakshanas of sutra types of sutra shad vidham six types and what is a sutra i'll cover this uh, uh, shloka also alpaksharam asandigdham saravad vishvato mukham astovam anavadyancha sutram sutra vidho viduhu so sutra vidaha viduhu those who know have knowledge about sutras what are sutras yoga sutras brahma sutras all the sutras the, uh, panini uh, vyakrana sutras what are sutras so sutra vidho viduhu so those who know sutra uh, how sutras are formed they know they know what what do they know and they say what alpaksharam sutra is alpaksharam it should have less number of letters and uh, i mentioned earlier perhaps in the earlier part that uh, saving half a matra in a sutra makes it short and across several sutras you will have saved so many matras so much less memory is needed to uh, uh, retain those sutras therefore saving even half a matra is celebrated like a like there is a uh, uh, janma of a putra janma vat so it is celebrated like a there is a birth of a son so alpaksharam sutra should be short anavadyam uh, uh, alpaksharam asangdigdam it should asangdigdam it should not have any 
uh, it should not have doubtful interpretation and nowadays it's uh, it is doubtful because people don't learn well otherwise if you have a good teacher and who has learnt in the sampradaya he teaches then the sutra is not doubtful and so many things features are there saravad vishwatomukam so it should uh, to keep it short it should just give an essence vishwatomukam it ha- it sh- it should have application across multiple things so therefore lagu prakriya you don't see how the sutra applies across prakriyas because uh, this lagu kara would introduce a sutra when it is needed in a particular prakriya after that prakriya is over he wouldn't uh, uh, even if it is needed in another prakriya he will consider that that uh, sutra as covered earlier and he would not uh, deal with that sutra at all again so that is a loss in if you study only lagu prakriya so we'll do it with ashtadhi as and when needed so uh, vishwatomukam it should be and astobam it should not have uh, meaningless or superfluous words and this is what uh, the uh, sutra lakshana is so let's go back to let's cover some sutras so let's go back to lagu so halantyam what upadeshe antyam hal ityat upadesha adyocharanam sutreshu adrushtam padam sutrantara anuvartaniyam sarvatra this is the halantyam it sutra then what should happen with this sutra we uh, with this it letter that letter which gets the it sanya what is the purpose of that name name has to have a purpose so there is a name you call out that person if you there is a name for a person you can transact with a person with a name you can transact with a thing ghata pata ityadi by naming it now what do we do with this uh, it letter the sutra this this sutra said what tasya lopah it said tasya lopah i think i have uh, got disconnected so i have got disconnected this uh, the internet has dropped so let me try to share geo now Okay, I dropped off. So there is an internet issue. I have connected through another internet. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. So uh, can you see the screen as well? Okay, I still have to share. I think yeah. Okay. so can you see now it's coming up now yeah so yeah so now you can see the screen so there is some internet issue it just uh, count off so let's try geo how this works uh, 
सो हलंत्यम इत्यात अंत्यम हल इत्यात उपदेशे अंत्यम हल इत्यात विच इज व्हाट उपदेश आद्योच्चारणम एंड सूत्रेशु अदृष्टम पदम सूत्रांतरात अनुवर्तनीय सर्वत्र एवरीवेयर यू शुड ड्रिंक द वर्ड दैट इज नीडेड एंड दैट लघुकारा डज इट इफ वी स्टडी द अष्टाध्यायी विल ऑर्डर वी कैन मॉडर्न बुक्स एंड देन वी कैन मेक अवर ओन वृत्ति दैट मेक्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग बेटर हियर वी आर सींग लघु वृत्ति एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ लघुकारा गॉड दिस इथ एंड उपदेशे फ्रॉम एल्सवेर फ्रॉम दी अर्लियर सूत्र सूत्रांतरात अनुवर्तनीय सर्वत्र दिस इज दी फर्स्ट सूत्र सेकेंड सूत्र इज लेट्स लुक एट दी सेकेंड सूत्र सेकेंड सूत्र इज वॉट हलंत्यम अदर्शनम लोप सो लेट मी जस्ट हाईलाइटेड या अदर्शनम लोप एंड वाय अदर्शनम लोप अनदर सूत्र फ्रॉम वन वन सिक्सटी it is the 60th sutra in the first pada of the first chapter why does he bring this sutra now because he wants the next sutra which is tasya lopaha this next sutra is tasya lopaha he wants tasya lopaha and tasya lopaha lopa is a sanya it is an it is a sanya prakaranam and lopa is a sanya lopaha now when lopa sanya is given what should you do with that What is that lopa sanya? With it sanya you do lopa. Whatever gets an it sanya, you use the name. And what is the application uh, there? The name is used to uh, give another name, which is lopa. And what is lopa? The definition of lopa is given here. Other shanam lopa. So tasya lopa bhot is a vidhi is that you do lopa tasya lopa. But what is lopa? You need a san- lopa sanya is other shanam lopa. So this is sanya sutra. It is giving a sanya lopa. Adarshanam lopa. What is lopa? Lopa is adarshanam. So what is said here in the Vritti? He says adarshanam. So adarshanam is what? Adarshanam is prathama ek vachana. Lopa is also prathama ek vachana. In samana dikarni. Adarshanam lopa. No dependency anywhere in any sutra. Adarshanam is lopa. This is the idea. But adarshanam lopa in the sutra part, if you look at it, it is one one sixty. So you'll see in one one sixty, one one sixty. So it is see lopadi sanya prakaranam. So this is also sanya prakaranam, lopadi sanya prakaranam. And the first sutra here is what one one sixty is adarshanam lopaha. This adarshanam goes to the sutra sixty one also. Next sutra. So here there is no anurutti, but the word lopa adarshanam. Has an anurti further pratyasya lukshlu lupaha. What pratyasya adarshanam lukshlu lupaha? There, there is this adarshanam continues further, but this sutra has no dependency. Adarshanam lopaha. What does the lagukara say? Lagukara says prasaktasya adarshanam lopa sanyam syat. What is the meaning of the sutra? Lopa sanya. Lopa is a sanya. So sanya is lopa and sanyi. is adarshanam adarshanam is sanyi named what is adarshana adarshana is called as lopa that is the definition and what adarshanam means what here he says prasaktasya adarshanam adarshanam of not seeing not cognizing and seeing we saw earlier adrishtam is not uh, not seeing but it is not cognizing ashrutam or anucharitam anucharanam that is the meaning of adrishtam here adarshanam is also what uh, not pro, not chanting that or not listening to that it is not listened because it is it is not heard because it is not chanted that is adarshanam so adarshanam is what adarshanam adarshanam is ashravanam in this adarshanam pada is what adarshanam is ashravanam not not hearing a word which is uttered earlier so prasaktasya that which is present prasaktasya is praptasya that which is prapta uh, so in the an, anadi sutra so if you look at the sutra anadi sutra let's say the sutra an in an this an in this an an sutra a e u and nakara is there akara ikara ukara nakara so in a e u nakara is heard it is heard so there is darshana there is darshana of this nakara in the sutra a e un 
सो इन दूत्रा आई उन नकारा विच इज प्राप्त प्रसक्त प्रसक्त नकार प्रसक्त से नकार एंड प्रसक्त से इज वॉट प्राप्त से नकार दैट विच इज ऑप्टेन दैट विच इज ऑप्टेन एंड दैट इज विद्यमान से इट इज देयर दैट शब्द एक्जिस्ट दैट लेटर एक्जिस्ट इन अयुन सूत्र इट एक्जिस्ट एंड दैट एक्जिस्टेंट अंडर गोज नॉट नॉन एक्जिस्टेंस इट अंडर गोज अदर्शनम अदर्शनम इज इन इट इट इज नॉट हर्ड एनी मोर एंड नॉट हर्ड एज इन इट इज नॉट Uh, it is not uttered any more therefore it is not heard thereby what a e un in this when a e un in the sutra nakara by halantyam it it will get sanya it and then what is it sanya tasya lopa it, it will be said tasya lopa but lopa is what adarshanam tasya lopa is it whatever is called as it will have another sanya lopa and what does lopa mean lopa means adarshanam tasya lopa bhavati सो तस्य लोपा होती मीन्स वर अदर्शन होती तस्य नकार प्रसक्त से नकार प्राप्त से नकार विद्यमान से नकार अदर्शन होती दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लोपा होती सो एंड सो ऑन एनी थिंग दैट इज विच गेट्स एन इथ संज्ञा दैट विल गेट अ लोप संज्ञा एंड लोपा इज अदर्शन देर बाय तस्य लोप तस्य अदर्शन होती इन दि नेक्स्ट सूत्र आई एम टेकिंग बोथ ऑफ दम टूगेदर सो अदर्शन लोप प्रसक्त से अदर्शन लोप संज्ञम सैट इज लोप संज्ञा लोप संज्ञा इज प्रसक्त से अदर्शन प्रसक्त से इज इक्वल टू प्राप्त से प्राप्त से और विद्यमान से दैट विच इज एक्सिस्टेंट अलोन कैन अंडर गो अदर्शन इज इक्वल टू अश्रवण नॉट हियरिंग इट एनी मोर और अनुच्चारण देर इज नो अटरस ऑफ दैट एनी मोर बिकॉज यू डील विथ अकार इकार उकार ओनली आफ्टर दैट नॉट नकारा नकारा इज ओनली अ पैकेजिंग यू हेव टू रिमूव इट which is only for making sanyas and etc but otherwise nakara has no further purpose other than making these pratyaharas or short forms elsewhere there may be a purpose in one this and etc it is not having any other purpose that is the second sutra third sutra here which is the ninth sutra in the uh, the sanya prakaranam of the ashtadhyayi we saw it starts upadeshi januna sikait then Uh, halantyam and so on uh, there are eight sutra second sutra to eight sutra are giving its sanya and then what happens tasya lopah in the ninth sutra there which is the third sutra here so halantyam it adarshanam lopah and uh, tasya lopah tasya lopah is what tasya tasya kasya tasya kasya lopah hoti what is that tasya when a pronoun is used tasya is shashti ek vachan of tat shabda and that is a pronoun whenever a pronoun is used that time the earlier noun has to be referred to which is the earlier noun here so this adarshanam lopaha here you don't have a noun which is saying adarshanam lopaha but adarshanam kas lopaha is brought in adarshanam lopaha to explain what is lopaha which is going to be used in the sutra next in in the order of laghu tasya lopaha therefore lopaha is explained but tasya kasya lopaha if you look at it it is said here this prasaktasya adarshanam lopa sanyam syat but earlier prasaktasya this what is that that which is existent as before being called as an it letter or when it is called as an it letter this halantyam that hal antyam hal which is in the upadesha that is the noun that is the noun for which you have a sarvanama sarvanama is a pronoun so for the nama which is already gone by which is that that na- that noun which has gone by is what is called as it what what hal uh, or anunasika ach all these get it sanya so therefore tasya kasya the vyakhyana says there vritti says tasya itaha tasya tasya itaha lopah syat the itaha is as i said it will also decline like hal or like marut shabda it itau itaha So itaha you can get in prathama bhu vachana. Then you like marut marutaha. Where all where all do you get marutaha? Marut maruto marutaha. Marutam maruto marutaha. In prathama bhu vachana and vidya bhu vachana you get. Then marutaha you also get in panchami ek vachana and shakti ek vachana. So marutaha marutaha marut maruto marutaha marutam maruto marutaha. Then marutaha marut bhya 
Marudhya in Panchami and in Shashti you get Marutaha, Marutoho, Marutam. Similarly here you get Itaha, Itoho, Itam. This is Shashti, ito, Itaha. Itaha becomes Ito when it is followed by this Lakara here, Lopaha. So you get Tasya Itaha. This is what Tasya Itaha. Tasya Itaha Lopaha Syat. Tasya is equal to Itaha. Shashti Ekvachana Tasya Tasya Kasya Itaha. Of that it letter. It Sanyakasya Aksharasya. Tasya It Sanyakasya Aksharasya Lopasya. That whichever which gets a name as it, that will undergo Lopa, that will undergo elision. And what is Lopa? Agarashanam. So Tasya It Sanyakasya Aksharasya. Whichever gets the Itsanya of that. And here in this Lagu Pratya, so far only Hal is being talked about. Antya Hal. So Tasya Antya Halaha. Antyasya Halaha. Itaha, which is called as it now. Itaha. What happens? Lopa Syat. And Lopa Syat means what? Lopa is equal to Adarshanam. Therefore, Adarshanam Syat. That will no longer be heard. Ashrutam. Ashrutam Bhavati. It is. It will not be heard anymore further because you don't deal with it anymore. You have removed the pack packaging letter, indicative letter and you just deal with the content which is a, a e, u in this sutra an. Nakara is halantyam it and therefore tasya lopaha is equal to adarshanam and therefore you now, now further only a, e and u remain. The nakara is, is unmanifest now. It is not seen, not cognized anymore. So, tasya itha lopasya nadayo nadhyarthaha. Nadayo nadhyarthaha. What is nadayo nadhyarthaha? Nadayaha. Nadayaha anadi arthaha. This is padas are what? Nadayaha is one pada. And anadhyarthaha is another pada here. So, anadhyarthaha. Nadayaha is what? Nadi is the pratipedika. Nadi. Like Hari, it will decline like Hari. Hari, Hari, Harayaha. Nadi, Nadihi, Nadi, Nadayaha. So, Prathama Bahuvachana. Nadayaha. Prathama Bahuvachana. Nakara, Nakara and Adi. Nakara Adi will become Nadaya. Nadi, it will become Nadi and it will decline that. Pada will decline as Nadi, Nadihi, Nadi, Nadayaha. Harivat. So, Prathama Bahuvachana of Nadaya means Nakara, etc. What are Nakara etc. in the Maheshwara Sutra? In the Maheshwara Sutra, what is this Nakara etc.? These are Antyahala. Antyahal they are. So Nakara, Nadaya will mean what? Nakara, Kakara, Nyakara, Chakara, Takara and so on till this Lakara. All this Antyahal. Antyahal are for what purpose they are? So that is said in the this Sutra. In the Sutra Vritti, by Lagukara says, Tasya Lopa Sya, they are elided. So here the question is raised. There is a Purva Pakshi who raises a question. If, if it undergoes elision, if you are saying Adarshanam Lopa and Tasya Itaha Lopa Sya, Adarshanam Sya, then why, do, why did uh, uh, Maheshwara uh, play the Damru and bring out these kind of sutras, Ayun, Real Rup, Ityadi? He should have said Ayun instead of Un, he should have Ayu. Aiu, Nakara will anyway drop off, Kakara will drop off in real look. Then why not say real look? Surely Maheshwara can play the Damru without these uh, it letters. Why couldn't he do that? So this kind of a question is asked by Purva Pakshi, which is answered by Lagukara by saying, Nadayaha Anadhyartha. It is not that they are they are useless. So, Ante Hal and Ita are same. It is not that they are same. It is a Sanya. So, there is a question. Ante Hal and it are same. They are not same. Antya, Ante Bhava. See, Ante Bhava, that which is there in the end, that Hal consonant. Hal is a consonant. How is Hal a consonant? We saw in the Maheshwara Sutra, Ha Yava Rat Lan Nyamagananam Jabai Ghadadash Jabagadadash Kapachatata Chatatav Kapai Shasasar Hal. Where the last lakara with the hayavara thakara, the entire set is called as hal. Actually, it has a dependency on another sutra. We'll see this sutra a couple of sutras down. Uh, the next sutra itself, Adirantyena Sahita. So thereby there is a hal sanya, and hal means what? Hal is 
अप्रत्याहार इट्स अ शॉर्ट फॉर्म फॉर कॉन्सोनेट एंड अंते हल अंते भव हल अंते भवम ह इज अंत्यम दैट विच इज देयर इन दी एंड दैट इज ओनली अंत्यम हल सो द लास्ट कॉन्सोनेट दैट्स ऑल इट इज से बट वॉट इज इथ इथ इज अ संज्ञा गिवन इट इज अ नेम now i i may be called as praveen but does not mean that uh, i mean all uh, i only i am praveen it does not mean only antya hal is it because there may be so many praveens similarly here when you say it so when you say it that there is an it sanya it is a name given and it is a name given for hal antya hal the last hal in the upadesha and it is also a name given to the Uh, anunasika ach anunasika vowel also has this name it so when i say it it can be anything that is called as an it so if you say ante hal and it are same in this case the ante hal is it therefore it is the same but it and it does not mean ante hal always ante hal is it uh, bearing exceptions like uh, na vibhakto tusmaha sakara in vibhakti is not an it letter it letter means what it does not have the name it but antya hal has the name it does not mean they are same so antya hal is not uh, and it are not interchangeable it is a name given to antya hal it is also a name given to uh, to the anunasika ach and so on wherever uh, there may be many places where uh, the some entities get this name as it it is only a name so whichever is named as it that is the that tasya lopa bhavati that undergoes elision or adarshana okay so nadaya so then why if it is going to be called as an it later and if it is going to be dropped or elided then why why should it be there in the sutra at all in maheshwara sutra it should not have been uh, there at all nakara should not have been there kakara should not be there in the second sutra a yun priluk a ong that nyakara should not be there in the third sutra so why are these antya hal or last consonants there in the sutras at all in 14 sutras and elsewhere also by extension but here the purva pakshi is asking why are there why are they there and the answer is given nadaya anadyarta this nadaya means nakara adi nakara is nakara adi yesham te they are what those letters aksharas which have Uh, the sutras the sutras uh, nadi anadi artha prayojam yesham te they are uh, so nadaya anadi artha what is anadi anadi artha anadi artha samasai anadi hi artha yesham te those which have anadi as their artha and what is artha artha is prayojanam meaning anadi has a has a purpose artha means pur- purpose prayojana there is a purpose for an in the sutra an etc to this the sutra ai un ril ruk e ong in the nadaya nakara ruka di kakar so in the sutra let's say this sutra an and uh, this ai un a e un is the first sutra a e un is the first sutra so let me scroll down so this ai un is the first sutra ril ruk is the second sutra let's say ril ruk is the second sutra and then third sutra so on till you get hal so these are the sutras these are the 14 sutras why is this nakara there why is this kakara there this is the question raised so what is he saying nadaya nadaya is this nakara adaya this nakara so nadaya will with a group which will have the last consonants nakara kakara and so on nakara etc till lakara so this 14 letters are are the nadaya this nadaya are for what purpose so nadaya are for the purpose of anadihi they are the purpose so prayojanam artha prayojanam yesham yesham te nadaya so nadaya are for what purpose they are for the purpose of anadi anadi to make what so by nakara if nakara is not uttered in the sutra why are there they are there they have purpose to make an an so this entire thing ai un can be called as an similarly there can be in in which will give you what this 
ikara and ukara ikara and ukara will be called as in so in is a pratyahara and is another pratyah which is what akara ikara ukara so as a short form as a pratyahara you, you can form only when this nakara is there this nakara is a packaging letter and it it can be used to form short forms to make short forms so you can get a e u and r r can be put together and called as ak so you can get ak here ak will mean what ak will mean ak will mean a e u r r and then l this this five letters can be called as ak similarly you can get ik by dropping this just this akara if you draw you will get ik so this set is called as ik so therefore these last letters although they are they will be elided they still have a place they have purpose and that purpose is to make these short forms ak ak ik uk ach hal so many short forms can be made 50 60 short forms can be made and these short forms are used in sutras in sutras let's say there is a sutra ikko guna vriddhi so or uh, let's say ikko yanachi so ikaha what is ikaha that ikaha is ik and ik is what ik is a short form in the sutra to say e u r r so this uh, e r u and l so these four letters are called as ik and ik will decline in sixth case as ikaha so ikaha ikaha yan achi and yan is another yan is what yan is another pratyahara yan will be what ha ya va rat so yan will be start, stopping from starting from in hayavarat sutra you drop the ha so you'll get ha this ha is dropped ha ya va rat this rat 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 hayavarat so this takara is not the content hakara is not uttered so yan so yan will start from yakara y v r and if you go through the sutra here starting from here yan is what y starting from this y till y v r l so yan so you see y v r takara is an if letter it is not the content but l is a content so therefore here you see h y v r and l these four will what will be what yakara vakara rakara trefa and lakara so actually it is not it is a consonant yakara vakara refa and lakara here these are the content of what yan so ikaha yan adesha yan is an adesha instead of ik so wherever in the sutra iko yan achi will forget achi right now achi is achi parata ach so achi any ach achi is ach what is ach ach is all vowels so swaraha so this is swaraha all swaras all vowels are called as ach so in this sutra iko yan yanachi so i can use as an example iko yan achi so bhagwan uh, panini maharshi uses this sutra there is a sutra iko yanachi it is a sandhi sutra there is a sandhi to be done what is this sandhi it is called a yan sandhi you may have this yan sandhi what is yan sandhi this is a sutra iko yanachi ikaha ikaha yan ach achi achi is seventh case of ach seventh case pratham uh, 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 is singular seventh case singular saptami ek vachana so saptami ek vachana this is shashti ek vachana this is one one as in prathama ek vachana so what is that ikah sthane in, in this place of ik 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 means what in the place of e u r l r in the place of these four you will have yan adesha yan is the replacement substitute yakara vakara refa lakara are the substitutes for ikara ukara rukara and lukara when when achi achi parata achi when ach ach follows when a vowel follows when ikara comes in association with a vowel then ikara will be replaced by yakara and so on so what is the purpose here to introduce to bring in the sutra here is to give an example of what is ik what is yan this ik ikaha is it is kakara if it is not there in the sutra real rak then i cannot make the sutra ikaha as in panini maharshi couldn't have made this sutra so there is a purpose the purpose of this nadaya this nakara kakara lakara etc all of these have a purpose the purpose is to make short forms 
and these short forms pratyaharas will be used in the sutra. So anadhyartha, anadhyartha is to make these pratyaharas an, in, an, in, un, uh, ik, yan, ach, all is hal, al, all these are pratyaharas. There are so many combinations possible. Not all are used, but most of them are used by Panini Maharshi in the sutra and that is the purpose of having this Nakara etc. So Nahadayaha, are for, they, although they are it, they have a purpose, they are for Anadhyartha. They are for the purpose of making Anadi short forms, Pratyara. This is the sutra Chaha. So that is the sutra Tasya Lopaha. So Halantyam and Adarshanam Lopaha, Tasya Lopaha, Tasya Lopaha, Tasya Itaha Lopaha Syat. Tasya Itaha Lopaha Syat and Lopaha is Adarshanam. Next sutra, fourth sutra says, Adir Antena Saheta. Adir Antena Saheta. What is this? This sutra is, Adihi, Adihi is Prathama Ekochana, Yes, please ask the question. Uh, is this... Uh, click on the question. You can, okay, I'll, I'll unmute you. Yeah, what is the question, Venkatesh Ji? Pravin Ji, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> so, uh, in uh, Nagushitanta comedy, they have given only 42 uh, different types of, so, uh, types of abri, uh, pratyahara yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, using yes, the yes. Uh, technically can be for, for more than 42 even though only these 42 may be used in sutras there could be others that we could follow form also yes, yes. using yes, any yes. any uh, uh, hal, uh, hal ta, we can form any number of uh, things more than 42 also right yeah, yeah, you can form these combinations are there, but all combinations are not uh, seen in this sutra. Yes, yeah, they are not whichever, seen in the sutra. Yeah, whichever yeah, finds it you, if those are mentioned in the sutra. In the, uh, 42, the, the 42 ones that is mentioned. Yeah, yes, yes. yes. Okay, thank you. So, the, these are the, uh, uh, the, the uh, pratyaharas have their use. In, uh, so the uh, nakara, the nadayaha, the short forms are the purpose of this nakara etc. And although they are in and elided, they are packaged, they are indicator letters to make these short forms. So that is the purpose. It is not useless. So that is being answered to the Puro Pakshi. Adi antena saita adi hi prathama ekvachana adi hi antena. So there is a, this, uh, uh, in Lagu you will see there is something called as a visarga sandhi. Actually, Visarga is not born. This uh, there is a Sakara in the Sakara of the Supratya, like Ramas, Ramaha. So the Rama plus Supratya will become Ramas, and Ramas Sakara at the end of the Pada becomes Ru. Ru. There is a there is something called as Ru. So uh, in in Sutra Pada, we will see when we hit there, we will see Ru, and this Ru this becomes Visarga. So this becomes Visarga in certain cases based on what follows. But in this case, the Visarga is not born at all. In Lagu Prakriya, it will still be called as Visarga Sandhi, Adihi Antena Saha, sa, uh, Antena, Adihi Antena. There, this Adihi Visarga and Antena Akara, there is a Sandhi by which this becomes Repha. But really, Visarga is not born, although it is called as a Visarga Sandhi, still there is no Visarga is not born. The Supratya, Supratya, Sakara of the Supratya itself becomes Repha. By, uh, there is a Ru, and Ru in the Ru, Ru, this uh, rule that I note, this Ukara, Ukara is what? Anunasika. It is Anunasika and therefore Anunasika Ukara becomes it. Upadeshe Janunasika it. And thereby Ukara will be dropped. So this will be what? This is actually Repha plus Anunasika Ukara. That is Ru. And Ru is, is, a, is ordained as a Vidhi, as an Adesha, as a, as a substitute to Sakara, Sakara which is added to Adi plus Supratya, in first case Adi plus Supratya, this Supratya also Ukara is it, so the content is Sakara, we will see all this, I am just mentioning in this context that it is this Repha is ordained for Sakara and thereby this Sandhi Adi Rantyena, Adi Rantyena is Adihi and Antyena, this is the Sandhi, so Adihi 
antena saha ita which are the cases so adi is prathama ek vachana antena ramavat antya antyaha antyau antyaha antyam antyau antyan or like rama and antena ramena like ramena antena so tritiya ek vachana saha is a is an avyaya and ita would be like marut again it itau itaha itam itau ita itaha itaha so like marut and then maruta maruta marudbhya marudbhi so ita idbhya idvihi so this is how it will decline so ita is what tritiya ek vachana so ita saha saha governs third case saha governs third case so ita saha adihi so adihi anchen anchen ita saha vichita it all these are samanadi karanam you see 3131 and saha is governing that 31 so what is the anvay of the sutra itself sutra will be adihi anchen ita saha anchen ita saha adihi is what there the the vritti the the say the the lagu vritti says what anchen ita saha anchen ita saha iti so anchena ita saha i think there is a typo here anchena ita saha saha just let me check the vritti printed vritti there is a typo sahita so sahita it is sahita not sahati sahita so ad anchena ita sahita sahita is saha so sahita saha means sahita along with along with what anchena ita along with the ending it letter which is said earlier as what hal that halanchyam it that in the sutras let's say ai un this a e un in the sutra ai un what is this antya it antya it is what nakara so antena it is that nakara this is antya antena hal that hal antena uh, hala antena hala it that hal which is it along with that along with that what adihi adi he is what adi he is this akara adi he is akara antena ita sah this it this is which is it so antya nakara sah what antena ita sahitah adi he madhya gana madhya gama is what antya is what ante bhavam antya so ante bhavam antyam ante bhavam antyam that which is in the end which is that hal and adihi antena itasah is what madhya ganam so that is what madhya ganam madhya madhya ganam is what madhye madhye gachati madhye gachati iti madhya gah that upapada satpurusha that which goes in middle that which goes as in that which exists in middle middle of what antena itah antena itah and adi these are the two ends so in the sutra ai un this akara is adi nakara is antya so antena sah adi is this entire set and madhya gana madhya gana is this madhye madhya garo there are two madhya madhya gau there are madhya gau here in this sutra or if you say in the ai un etc till al till hal sorry till hal in the end then what will it become this lakara is the ending so lakara is the ending and this lakara and this akara this lakara is antya and akara is what akara is at the beginning so if you want in each sutra ai un rail ruk a om so on in all the sutra antya laka antya itasah antya hal that antya hal which is there is has got a sanya it therefore along with itasah along with that antya it along with that earlier one whatever is earlier so it's ai 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 un sutra there is this nakara let's take a sutra where there are multiple uh, letters let's say kha kha pha chhata tha chhata tha chhata tau so let's say this 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 sutra kha pha chhata tha chhata tau in kha pha chhata tha tau this vakara is antya so antena itasa this is it and earlier is what adi is kha so along with kha so kha along with this vakara sorry kha along with this vakara 
इज वॉट सहित आदि ही मध्यगा नाम स्वस्थ च संन्यास्यात यथा अनिति अर्णा नाम संज्ञा सो वॉट इज दिस आदिर अंत्यन सहित अलॉन्ग विथ दिस अंत अंत्य अंत्य इथ विच इज वकारा हिअर अलॉन्ग विथ दॅट आदि ख आदि ही ख इज वॉट ख इट विल बी ख whether or not it is used is a different story i am just explaining this khau or se jaba gada dash which is used let's look at something which is jaba gada dash so jaba gada dash in the sutra jaba gada dash let's remove this khau may not be used khar is used let's say jaba gada dash in this j is adi jakara is adi so jakara is uh, comes comes as madhya there is a question the it letter if it comes as madhya no I'll, i'll deal with this I'll, i'll i'll mention that i'll mention that so jabagadash in the sutra jabagadash so jabagadash is a sutra shakara is antya hal and antya hal is what it by which sutra halantyam it so in this upadesha jabagadash is an upadesha it has come from maheshwara so it is a maheshwara therefore maheshwara agata agata it is sutra agatam sutram thereby it is upadesha and upadeshe antyam hal it syat therefore shakara is what it letter now if shakara is it letter adihi antyena what is this sutra doing now this sutra is saying that how do you make pratyahara how do you get hal sanya that hal sanya that we used earlier hal antyam in that hal is hayavarat lan nyamagananam jabai how through this sutra this sutra is what makes hal antyam interpretable as entire set of consonants hal means all consonants why because uh, uh, in jabagadash also jabagadash means what we we'll see jabagadash first jabagadash shakara is antya hal the last hal which is it by halantyam it then this jakara is adi and you see akara all the akaras here are uchcharanartha it has already been said uh, this uh, akara is uchcharanartha but uh, सखारादिषु अकारा उच्चारणार्थ हॅज बीन सेट सो द कंटेंट इज वॉट रिअली जकारा बकारा गकारा डकारा अँड डकारा हाऊ शकारा इज एन इन इथ लेटर अंत्येन शकारेण स इता इता स इज अंत्येन शकारेण सह जकारा इज आदी सो इफ यू से अंत्येन सो इफ हॅव टू अंडरस्टँड दॅट अंत्येन सॉरी बोल्ड इट इज इन बोल्ड अंत्येन antyena ita sah i substitute ita sah sah governs third case therefore ita sah adihi will mean what sah adihi is equal to antyena antye sh so let's say antyena i'll fill in the gaps here antyena shakarena shakarena sah shankar shankar which is ita ita shakarena अंत्येन इता शकारेण सह आदि इज वॉट आदि जकार आदि जकार सो अंत्येन इता शकारेण स आदि जकार दिस इज हॉल इंटरप्रिट इच एंड एव्हरी सूत्र नो देन वॉट विल हॅपन जकार इज वॉट मध्यगा नाम स्वस्य च वॉट अबाउट इट मध्यगा नाम स्वस्य च संन्यास्या सो वुड बी वॉट वुड स्टँड फॉर सो अंत्येन इता शकारेण स आदि जकार विल बी वॉट जश it will be a short form called jash this is the meaning of antyena ita sah antyena ita shakarena sah adhi jakara is equal to jash and what is that this is madhyagana 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 is what madhye gachanti iti madhyagah and tesham 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 madhyagana madhyagana or not madhya madhye gachati which are there in the in between between jakara and shakara bakara gakara dakara dakara so there are four letters bakara gakara dakara dakara so here madhyagana bakara gakara dakara i'll just mention it dakara dakaranam i'll just write this bagada dakaranam is the madhyagana what happens so it actually this is expanded I'll, i am just writing is bagada the but it is bakara gakara dakara dakara dakaranam of all these four letters madhyaganam what madhyaganam swasya swasya kasya adhi swasya its own their own so 
जकार ऑल्सो स्वस्य जकार स्वस्य कस्य जकार इट इज एट द बिगिनिंग आदि ही आदि ही स्वस्य आदि ही स्वस्य आदि ही जकार जकार ऑल्सो ऑफ जकार सो बगड़ द एंड जकार ऑफ ऑल दिस संन्यास्या संन्या संन्यास्या दिस इज वॉट दी वृत्ति रेस्पॉन्डेड टू दैट इज द मीनिंग सो इन जब गड़दश जकारा इन द बिगिनिंग अलॉन्ग विथ द एंडिंग शकारा विच इज एन इथलेटर विल बिकम जश एंड दैट जश इज वॉट इट इज अ शॉर्ट फॉर्म फॉर मध्य गाना फॉर बकारा गकारा डकारा एंड डकारा एंड ऑल्सो सस्य ऑल्सो ऑफ इट सेल्फ देर फोर जश विल मीन वॉट इट विल मीन ज ब ग एंड द जश विल मीन ज ब ग फाइव थिंग्स इट विल मीन ऑल दीज फाइव यथा 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 अणनीति यथा अणनीति सो इन अण यथा अणनीति सो यथा अण अण इज वॉट अण इज अकार अण इज वॉट अ एंड अ उन सो इन अण अण विल मीन दिस दिस आदि ही अकार अंत्य नकारेण इता सह वॉट मध्यकारा इकारा उकाराण स्वस्य अकार से संन्यासा सो अण विल मीन अ एंड उ ओके वर्णा नाम संज्ञा यथा अण इति अ उ मध्यग इकार उकार मध्यग इकार उकार दिस देर आर टू इकार एंड उकार आर मध्यग इन अण एंड अ इज दी अरियर आदि ही एंड स्वस्य स्वस्य अकार से वर्णा नाम संज्ञा सै सो देर इज संज्ञा अण स्टैंड फॉर अकार इकार उकार नकार सो इफ आई से हक I'm sorry. So if I say Hayavarat also, it will stand for Hayavar, Hayavar and Hayavar. The takara is it's Hayavar. Similarly, Hal will stand for all Hayavar, La Hayavar, Hayavarat, Land, Yamagananam. In all that, all ever, all these consonants will be the meaning of Hal because Lakara is Antya in the last sutra and Hakara is the फर्स्ट लेटर आदि ही इन दी हयवर सूत्र देर फोर आदि ही हकार अंत्यन लकारेण इता सह मध्य गाना ऑल दिस यवर एक्सेट्रा ऑफ ऑल दिस इट विल स्टैंड फॉर ऑल ऑफ दिस अलॉन्ग विथ दी इनिशियल आदि ह देर फोर हल स्टैंड फॉर ऑल कॉन्सनेंट दैट इज सेडियर एवं अच हल अच इज वॉट अ रील रु ए सो अच इज ऑल वॉवेल्स and you hal hal is what all consonants all is means all letters because ach plus hal is equal to all all letters ityadaya ityadaya you can make all of these and as venkatesh said 42 are listed in lagu siddhanta kaumuri of gita press which are used in the sutras others are not used but you can make around say i think i remember some 56 or something right I, the number may not be right but others are not used they are pratyaharas but pratyaharas are are to be used if they are not used what is the purpose of making those short forms we have to understand the short forms which are used in the sutras so this is the adir antena sahita vritti uh, antena ita sahita adi hi madhya ganam swasya cha sanyasya at yatha an iti ai varna nam sanya evam ach hal al ityadayah pratyahara these are the sanya pratyahara are this, this, this sanya for the letters there is a name For the short form, a name as a short form for the letters which are included in between, along with the earlier letter. Therefore, the entire set except for the it letter, the pratyahara will stand for. So we'll stop here. Uh, there was a question. I'll I just answer that question. Lakshmi ji had a question, uh, and that question was that the it letters, if it comes as madhyaga, will it be lopa? The it, how will you get it letter as madhyaga ma? by what definition will you get it letter in the between in between <laughs> only by ach anunasika ach anunasika ach okay so if anunasika ach comes in between like land madhye to it sanyaka so that land madhye anuswara akara that akara which is, has an anuswara that uh, land madhye to it sanyaka ach, uh, anunasika not anuswara i'm sorry anunasika which is nasalized the nasalized akara in land land it is not land it is land there is a nasalization and that akara which is nasalized 
Anunasik Ach, wherever it is in the Sutra, in between also it will have an Itsanya and thereby Tasya Api Lopa Bhavati. So it is right, if it is Madhyaga also there will be Lopa, but Madhyaga is not a letter. In the, in the Sutras that we have seen, only Akara there in the Maheshwara Sutras is, has an it, Itsanya and thereby Tasya Lopa. All that gets Itsanya will be dropped. So therefore, you have to be um, clear that in the in the sutra that we saw, uh, the Upadeshe Janunasika it etc. All in all those sutras, the uh, whatever gets an it sanya. So here you see in the set Upadeshe Janunasika it. So ach Anunasika ach it it bhavati antyam hal it bhavati. This is an exception. No is there. So Adir Nitudava. So Adihi there Adhi ni, there is a ni in uh, Dukrinj Karne, you see uh, this do. Uh, I'll just give an uh, uh, example. Nitu dava, nitu dava means nitu do. Nitu do is a pratipadika like guru. Guru, guru, guravaha. So guru, hu, guru, guravaha, similar nitu do, nitu do, nitu do, nitu davaha. So this is nitu davaha is the uh, bahuvachana of, of the Need to do. So need to do is what? It's a bahuvachana of need to do pada. And do is, let's say do in Dukrinj Karane. You see in uh, Shankaracharya's uh, Bhajagovindam, you hear Dukrinj Karane. The dhatu is do, kri, nya, Dukrinj. So do, do at the adihi. Adihi do is also it. Therefore in Dukrinj Karane, why you say the uh, dhatu is kri, kri dhatu? It is Dukrinj in the Dhatu Pata. Dhatu Pata is an Upadesha and in Upadesha, so Upadeshe do, Nitu Davaha, Nitu do, uh, Nikara, Tukara and Dukara are also it. So therefore in Dukrinj Karne, Dukrinj, Nyakara is it by Halantya. So Dukrinj will become Dukru and Dukru do will drop off by this Sutra, Adir Nitu Davaha. So do will also become it. Madhyaga or in the Adi also, wherever it is. Wherever you see this Adihi do, Antya, Hal and Anunasika anywhere, Madhyaga, Adihi, Antya, wherever you see uh, Ach, Vowel which is uh, Anunasika that will undergo it. Okay, 132 I'll, I'll explain, I'll, I have explained this but uh, any, so the, 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 the meaning of this Sutra, 132 is very simple, Upadeshe Anunasika it. Anunasika ach it. It will see, it will come. But then ach is what? Ach is a vowel. Any vowel in an Upadesha which is Anunasika will get this it sanya. Just like this Antya hal will become it, but not Antya ach, but anywhere ach which is Anunasika. Any vowel which is Anunasika in an Upadesha will become it. Okay? So that is the meaning. There is no further meaning, but we'll see when we hit the sutras, I'll explain again. But then, uh, in this context, I wanted to explain that uh, if, if anything that gets it will go uh, undergo low point. Adi, you see, Adi has an anurti till 8. 8 sutra, it has an anurti till. Thereby, Shaha Pratyasya Adihi Shakara Shaha It Sanya Kabhoti Chutu. We'll see Chutu later. Lashakvat Atadite. Atadite, in a non Tadita, Lakara Shakara and Ku Kavarga letters will undergo low paha. And Adi, Adi, only at the beginning. So some some are mentioned as at the beginning. Some are uh, all the consonants at the end by this Halantyam Sutra. And not Adi or Antya, but wide open. Anunasika vowel anywhere in an Upadesha is an it letter. So anything that is marked as it, how do you treat them? Tasya Lopaha Bhavati. And what is Lopaha? Adarshanam Lopaha. You, the unmanifestation. No, whatever was manifest, whatever was heard, that becomes unheard later in the in the prakriya. So we'll stop here. We'll do the prayer, the last prayer, ending prayer. We'll do this. Nritta vasane nataraja rajo nana dadakkan na panchavaram uddhatukamasanaka visidhan etadvimarshe shiva sutra jalam. Oh, that's it.